Right now, breaking news. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Department is giving us some new details about four arrests involving people in the school district. A teacher, two aides, and a guidance counselor all facing child abuse charges. News 5's Brian Clerkley is live outside of Silver Sand School in Fort Walton Beach where some of the alleged abuse occurred. Brian? That's right, and all four of those staffers had to the end of the day today to turn themselves in. And right now, I, I do get that these are allegations right now, but still our, heart, our hearts go out to these students um, as we go forward. The Okaloosa County Sheriff says 48-year-old Margaret Walters and her two teacher's aides, Diana LaCroix and Carolyn Madison, are accused of blowing a whistle in the ear of an autistic child and locking three autistic children in a bathroom with the lights off as punishment at this school in Fort Walton Beach. These incidents happened from September to November of last year. There was no supervision in the bathroom at the time. Uh, one student per witness was held for 90 minutes on at least one incident. The other two students were held for unreasonable amounts of time. At Shalimar Elementary School, guidance counselor Sharon Burt faces charges for not reporting the alleged sexual abuse of a five-year-old student by another student at the school. The incident allegedly happened in October of last year. Just once again, we will not tolerate the actions or inactions of any of our employees who are not doing right by our students. Now the, sh now, the sheriff says that the investigation is still ongoing, and the superintendent says that he wants parents to know that 99% of the teachers, faculty, and staff are doing the right thing, and they're going to continue being transparent throughout this investigation. Live in Okaloosa County, I'm Bryant Clerkley, WKRG News 5.